Okay, a lot of people did the following for this question, so let's take a look. Right here, they said that this is equal to L, and as you can see, this right here is the same as the original, so we can make this equal to L as well, huh? And then this right here becomes the square root of 0 plus L right here, and this is equal to L, and we can square both sides and then move things around, so we can get L squared minus L that's equal to 0, and then factor it, we get L times L minus 1 that's equal to 0, and as you can see right here, we can solve for L, L should be equal to 0 and also equal to 1, right? No, we actually have just one answer, and the answer is equal to 0. You have to rule out the 1, and the reason is because when we have square roots, the output of it has to be just one answer, right? Well, the theory is that if you're talking about the limit, the limit as x approaching 0 plus, and then square root of x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x plus da da da, this right here will give you 1. Why? Because I did a video on this already. Go ahead and check that out. And then the biggest difference between this and and that is that this right here when x is approaching 0 plus well this right here are not exactly 0 however when we write this down you see all this 0 right here they are exactly right exactly equal to 0 so no matter how many times you do this will always be equal to 0